In this video, we're going to look at variables, inputs and outputs in Scratch. Let's start off by looking at outputs. Output means to show something to the user. It's normally a message. To produce an output in Scratch, we use the purple looks tab. Then to get Scratch to say something, we want one of the first two blocks. Go ahead and create this program in Scratch and see what happens. Remember, you can get the first block from the events tab. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. So, what is a variable? Well, a variable is a placeholder that is used to store one item of data. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, to find out, let's take a look at how variables are used in Scratch. To make a variable in Scratch, you first need to go to the variable tab on the left. Then you need to click on make a variable. After that, you'll see this box pop up, asking you to give your variable a name. You can call your variable anything at all, but just make it relevant to what you're using it for. In this example, I'm going to enter a character from the Simpsons into my variable. So I'm going to call this variable Simpsons character. Finally, to assign a value to your variable, you need this block right here. Remember to click the drop down menu to select the name of the variable you want to change. Let's take a look at this in action on Scratch now. Try out this program in Scratch. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. Once you run the program, you should see that the value in the Simpsons character variable says Lisa. Finally, let's have a look at how to input data from the user in Scratch. For this, we need the light blue sensing tab. Then we use the ask block, and inside this block, ask your question. We're going to use the default what's your name question. Create this program in Scratch and see what happens. Remember, if you're not sure where to find a block, look for the same colored tab. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. The first block is what triggered the code to start. The next block asks a question and then allows the user to enter their answer into Scratch. In our third block, we take the user's answer and store it into a variable called name. Once this happens, we then output the message hello followed by whatever is stored in the name variable by using a green join block inside the purple output block. And that's everything you need to know about variables, inputs and outputs in Scratch.